this video will be talking about the EPIRM. EPIRMs are unique and can be difficult to recognize because of the lack of headlights, bars or matching colors. And that's exactly that. EPIRMs do not have any headlights, any matching bars or any matching colors around. So it's if you see a bunch of random colors, you should know for sure that you have an EPIRM. So before we get into the EPIRM algorithm, there is a particular way to hold the EPIRM and so for the algorithm to work. And the way to recognize it is to look at this front corner sticker here and the edge sticker here. So these two have to be matching. That If they're matching, that means it's the correct angle. And you can recognize it from the other side as well, looking at these two stickers. So if we rotate this way, for example, um, if we look at the same two stickers, these two, this time they're not matching, which means that the, this is actually the wrong way to hold the EPIRM and the algorithm won't actually work in this case. So uh, you have to have the corner sticker here and the edge sticker here matching for the angle to be correct. Now with that out of the way, remembering that these two are matching, this is the EPIRM algorithm. So just if you're wondering, uh, when I do a, do the EPIRM from this angle, so the incorrect angle, when these two aren't matching, so if I do the EPIRM algorithm, I end up getting a HPIRM, which uh, is not good because nobody has time to do PLL twice, so recognition is quite important for the EPIRM. So recognizing AUF for EPIRMs is also quite important but it's actually easy, quite easy to recognize. So what I do is I look at this front edge sticker here. Um, in this case, it's blue, which means that if I do the algorithm, blue's gonna end up on in the front. So, so if I do the algorithm, blue ends up at front. So if I know that, I know where to AUF if I have to. So that's it for EPIRMs Made Easy. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.